recording. All right, great. So this is an information session about 21st century pathways and how to integrate sustainability into decision making. Uh, so today you have me, Jesse Serviortiz, the Managing Director of the Wisconsin Sustainable Business Council, and Mark McDermott, a sustainability consultant with WMEP Solutions. We're going to be talking about this program, um, sharing sort of its content, why we think or why it is beneficial to your organization, and answering any questions you might have about the program specifically. Um, I just went over the agenda, but here, yeah, we're going to talk through the content, again, the benefits, and then who should participate in the logistics, as well as any questions that you might have. So before we don't jump in, if you wouldn't mind, if you have access to your chat, just typing in, what do you need to elevate sustainability to the next level? inside of your organization. And if you could just type that answer in the chat, if you have access to your chat there, um, this is helpful for us to just understand what it is you need to take it to the next level. Um, as you're thinking about that, you can just drop it in the chat. Um, and while I'm watching for that, I'm gonna hand it over to Mac to talk to this slide. So, Despite what some believe, sustainability as a driver of business decision making has not diminished um, during the coronavirus. Uh, heard off and on conversations about sustainability is going to be of less importance coming out of the coming into the recovery period or return to normalcy, however you want to describe it. Um, and actually, the contrary is true. Um, what we're seeing is sustainability is being heightened. I can give you an example of one business that prior to the coronavirus had gotten maybe one or two inquiries from customers looking for information on sustainability and now is in a position of virtually all of their customers are looking for very specific information relative to sustainable practice inside the organization. Companies like Walmart and um, Kroger have uh, escalated their, the intensity of their interest in, um, in sustainable practice inside of the organization. And, and whether the value of sustainability is expressed by executives, 84% of them, as you can see in the slide, the sustainability imperative that's felt by employees and companies of 250 or less, 75% um, of them, um, as you can see in this slide, and 75% um, of um, consumers are showing, or I'm sorry, 79% of consumers are clearly showing a preference in terms of what's driving them relative to the purchases that they're making. And um, rather than sustainability diminishing, um, what we're seeing is sustainability is a key factor in the path for business recovery, growth, and most importantly, long-term stability. We saw um, performance in our sustainability companies um, who demonstrated a far greater level of both mitigation of the effects of the virus as well as resiliency in the recovery side of the equation. Go ahead, Jesse. Thanks, Mac. Yeah, so really what is Pathways as a program? Well, the, the, the program really is designed for us to walk you through a customizable process to get the education, the resources you need at, a, at both the high level and a very detailed level. And what I mean by that is we're giving you education on the core components of sustainability with resources for each of those categories, as well as helping you determine which uh, metrics and which topics or issue areas are the most important to your industry, to your stakeholder, to your company, in relation to your business outcomes and crafting a plan to integrate sustainability into your organization that 
fit. So we call that the right size for your organization. So really the primary outcome of the program is you crafting this plan, leaving with a plan um, for what are your next steps going to be to really take sustainability to the next level, elevate it, and uh, or integrate it. Uh, second is really helping you build credentials as well as competencies for those going through the program, as well as for your overall organization and what does sustainability mean today, helping you define what that means for you, for your customer base, for your um, employees, and helping give you the skills that you need to really drive sustainable outcomes in your organization. And of course, sustainability really will be integrated best in your organization when it's in alignment with your business goals, with your company values. So all of those things are a part of the process of this uh, program. So those are kind of the primary things that you leave with. Um, additional outcomes is really just deepening your understanding of the financials of sustainability. How do you talk to your C-suite folks? How do you talk to the CFO? How do you create projects with more than just a traditional ROI? Um, also, just looking at what operational uh, improvements, efficiencies that you can make inside your organization to increase uh, or decrease your environmental footprint um, or just increase your overall efficiency. Um, you also really get support in engaging your workforce. So what does an engaged workforce look like today? We spend uh, quite a bit of time talking about that as a cohort and um, giving you tips and tools and tricks to help engage your workforce. And also, through the program, you are building a library of resources and references for you to take into your organization, as well as for you to resource uh, once done with the actual program. Um, so that's why we like to call it a library. <laughs> a library. Essentially, through the program, we give you access to all of these vetted um, tools, um, case studies, uh, you know, very specific articles um, to help continue to drive the outcomes once the program is over. And then lastly, you know, this is designed to be a cohort model type of program. We can do this one-on-one -on -one for organizations, but in this model, the participants have really gotten so much value out of going through with other businesses and learning together, helping overcome challenges, talking through challenges and talking through ideas with one another. Mac, I think you're going to talk through the content a little. Yeah, so let me start by saying, um, at least addressing as best I can, um, the, the comments from both Emily and, and Brianna. So it's important, you'll see that on day one, we talk about materiality and um, doing a full materiality examination can be a bit of a daunting task. And part of what we cover during day one is how to do materiality in a way that makes sense for the organization, as opposed to um, checking a box that a full materiality assessment was done. There are any number of ways to conduct them. And um, in our um, initial session, we had a variety of ways that the businesses undertook the look at of uh, undertook their look at materiality. But day one is, is not only understanding what's material, but understanding the systems that you have, the transformational drivers in your sector, and also the impact tools, being able to talk in terms about um, financial impact, um, more than just simple ROIs, and then the structure to go along with that. So it's, it's finding the right tools, maybe to address customer needs, but it's also trying to figure out the various drivers that are gonna cause your plan to come together as whole cloth rather than a series of discrete elements. Day two is really about looking at the specifics 
related to sustainable practice. And we go through carbon, we go through engagement, resource efficiency, and so on. Um, but the point is, it's not just enough to train. It's very important to give education to organizations, but there has to be an engagement component to go along with that as well. Day three is dedicated to um, the core credential building pieces, um, looking at commitment, ethics, compliance, et cetera. Day four is about the externally facing portion of sustainability. How do you communicate in the office, in the communi community, and then to other interested parties? And a good portion of day four is starting to finalize that plan framework and the draft elements that are associated with it. So um, as, as you look at education, you'll see that um, there, there are gonna be a number of education pieces and I'll talk about those in just a bit. But in between each one of those sessions, there's a measure of customization for your organization in the form of coaching that we provide in between the various sessions. Go ahead, Jesse. So here is a little deeper dive um, into what each of the days lays out, um, the learning and development objective in the top row. The high level takeaways um, for each day are shown in the second row. The third row shows the categories of material and tools that each of the participants will receive. And I'll, I'll tell you that this is a significant library of resources, to use Jesse's term, um, that can form the foundation of how to engage an organization. Um, and the resources and references are a distillation of what we've screened having gone through over a thousand uh, documents, videos, websites, and other resources to provide the material most germane to impact, profitability, and continual improvement um, for the businesses participating. The fifth row is the outcomes resulting from the day's activities that follow. The bottom line is there are 19 modules delivered over the first four days that are fundamentally important to discovering the essence of sustainable practice for your organization and presenting that in a way that's engaging up the organization through the C-suite and down through the organization, through the um, employees and across the value chain, both to your suppliers and to your customers. And it's, it's one thing to pick a framework for sustainability, it's quite something else to figure out how that framework fits into the whole cloth for sustainable practice for the organization. Great, thanks, Mac. And, you know, I mean, it, we did talk through a bit about the coaching. So uh, along the way, you know, you have your team as your support network. You also have the other businesses that are going through this. And you also have us to rely on and reach out to as, you know, you're moving through the plan elements, you're making decisions, um, th you know, throughout your kind of overcoming challenges. And, uh, you know, we're sort of there with you uh, along the way. And that's what the coaching really is. Um, you know, we check in with you in between each session to make sure that, you know, things are moving forward, you're getting access to the information needed, um, and supporting you in any other way necessary. So this course is primarily uh, facilitated by Mac himself with support from Greg and myself. Um, however, it's you also uniquely designed such that for all of the different content areas that we're going to be talking through, Mac mentioned 19 modules, we're bringing in subject matter experts on those topics, as well as other businesses in our network that are really either excelling at or have focused on and overcome challenges in those areas. Um, so that, you know, we're continuing to really learn from the, the Wisconsin business community through this. Um, so, so it's not just 
being talk, <laughs> talked at the whole time or, you know, Mac facilitating the primary um, module. It's, it's really um, a group effort and a group experience. Jesse, I wonder if I might yeah. add two points. Um, and that is, first of all, um, that the um, last day of uh, where the panel, where the presentations are done, we actually pull a panel of experts in to provide feedback. So not only are you getting feedback from the businesses that have gone through the development process with you, we're drawing in folks who have um, experience in delivering um, recognized sustainability programs. When I And the second point I wanna make is, you may look at 19 modules and say, ooh, I'm not sure I wanna sit through 19 modules of PowerPoints, and I wouldn't blame you for that. The structure of the course is one third of the time is presentation of materials. One third of the time for each, and this is for each module, one third of the time is for um, context and discussion. How do we take what we got in those um, uh, in the presentation materials and apply it in the context of our businesses and the last third is the actual application of information from those presentations and the discussion to your specific business so it's it's not just about um, sitting through a series of, of presentations you know, there is there is discussion and there is application um, that's a part of those. And then the intervening period in between the various days is, is to further refine that application process. Thanks. So the business benefits and each business is a little bit different in terms of um, what they're doing and what they gain. Defining sustainability is fundamentally important. You may have a program. The question is the definition, something that is both understood and integrated into the business functions and priorities. And the integration piece is the one that we see most frequently in need of attention. It's an executable plan to implement integrated sustainability into your organization and grow sustainability in your company. There's the, the normal outcome that we see from the programs of re reduced costs and in increased profits and the tools that are provided to help you discover costs and profits that may not have been um, internalized before. Um, it, it also is the, the focus on risks and opportunities and determining where best to make your investments, connection to your workforce and supply chain for sustainability. And what we see more frequently than not is checkboxes that are used to connect to supply chains and workforces as opposed to active engagement, collaboration and um, joint development. The, um, the ability to build your network and form valuable connections. And I, I have been told by folks going through this program and other programs related to sustainability, the network connections are um, incredibly valuable, if not um, the most valuable part of it. And then the last piece, which has been amplified by the virus is to enhance business resilience. So really the program itself is designed for somebody on your executive team, somebody that is elevated in the company to be a decision maker. Uh, this work does not advance or integrate throughout an organization um, without that level of, of support and engagement. And really that that could look a couple of different ways and then the, we're calling it an implementer so that could be somebody that can take uh the work and sort of you know uh do the action do the work the 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 doer so to, so to speak so that could be a sustainability team member 
if that's how your company is organized. Uh, you know, in other instances, it's it's been somebody with a different title, but that is the person that's sort of in charge for moving sustainability forward in the organization. Uh, we're not necessarily limited to two members. We have had more in the past. It really kind of depends on your specific business and how things are organized and who would be the right people to really um, make the most out of this program and uh, moving that forward in your organization. So, you know, Max been talking about these days, this program has traditionally been designed to be an in-person event, but this year we are offering a virtual option. So there are two options. The in-person is five full days over five full months. So it's one day a month over five months. It will be in the Waukesha area, um, so Southeast Wisconsin. And the virtual platform has a little different of a structure. So I'm just gonna walk through what that looks like right now um, because these are options for you. So the five month in-person option will be the first Thursdays of the month starting in September. Um, and going through January of 2022. So again, that's the first Thursday of the month. It's a full day, 8 to 4.30 uh, in Waukesha area. Now, the Zoom version is uh, virtual, and this will have a little different structure. So we'll take those concept uh, modules that we're planning for the day and break them out over a week. So this program itself is over three months, and it's one week a month for two and a half hours a day over three weeks. So it's a Monday through Friday, one to 3.30 for um, the three weeks shown here. So one week in September, one week in October, one week in November. I'm gonna just share the cost with you quick and then we'll go open it up for more questions um, and kind of discussion to hear what how this is all landing with you and how it might be beneficial to your organization. So the virtual option is a little less expensive. There's less costs on our end. Um, the in-person, you know, we have to um, rent a space and we do feed you um, and we have a printable material. So it's 3,500 for the virtual and 4,500 for the in-person. And then members of WSBC get a $500 discount in both instances. Um, now we have had great success also implementing this program one-on-one -on -one or tailored to a specific company, tailored to your company. Um, so that is also an additional option, but that would require um, a quote in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with us about what that might look like and what your exact needs are. And then we would work out the pricing for that. Um, so, you know, we've gone through a pilot version of this. Uh, all of the companies that participated have um, definitely taken their program to the next level and been able to um, implement it. Um, you know, we're happy to connect you with past participants if you're interested in talking to them about how um, the program was for them. There are also uh, interviews that we did with them on our website. Um, so to learn more and to talk through more if this is a right fit for you, you can visit the website or you can reach out to um, Mac or myself to talk through it. So I'm going to just um, stop sharing there and invite um, you, Emily and Brianna, just if you want to share how this lands with you um, and or any more information with us about what your particular needs are in sustainability currently. Can I can I suggest, Jesse, let's stop the recording there. Yeah, we can stop. Um, I have the ability to edit it, so that's.